Hey guys, BP back here. Oh, this girl here. I'm a big uttered thing. She's a little weak on her back end. She just had her baby this morning. <laughs> Anyways, it's friggin' cold out here, like minus 25 or some damn thing with the wind. It's just nasty. It went from beautiful yesterday to just terrible today, overnight. Anyway, the vet just left. Because now with the new protocols to get any kind of drugs from a veterinarian, they have to be at your place at least minimum once a year. Come and check you out. They prefer three or four times a year. Otherwise, you can't get no drugs from a veterinarian out here. And getting a vet out here is almost impossible unless you're doing it well after hours. But anyway, she calved. She had a big calf. She had it on her own. But she pinched a nerve and couldn't get up to lick it off. I was not expecting her to calve. I did check last night at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then I didn't bother going back out until, I don't know, it was like 5, 30, 6 o'clock this morning. And she was actually, she must have struggled to get up so she could lick the calf off. And she actually fell and was laying on the calf. So long story short, we ended up losing the calf, unfortunately. This has got it, this is, I did some record checking and well, yeah, this is the worst year we have ever had in 10 years. So she is on uh, Dexacort for three days. And you see, she's just a little bit weak there, right? Should put her in the head gate and milk her. She's so freaking full of milk right now. But anyways, and the other day, I never said nothing to you guys, but uh, day before yesterday, actually. So this is Wednesday, so Monday. Um, got home from hauling. I was home at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And... Well, true to form, as soon as you get home, if you're on the road, you come and you check on the cows and walk through everybody, and I did that. Everybody was great, checked all the calves over, they were all great. Some were sleeping, enjoying the sun, because it was like plus 12 that day. Enjoying the sunshine, and so on and so forth. And that was at 2, and then at 5, 5.30... We uh, went out to check again, so like three hours later, nobody calved, but this cow, her calf had a broken jaw. Can you believe that shit? Like the lower jaw was broken. Just a shit deal. And a calf that's like two and a half weeks old. Nice big bull calf or steer calf. And someone that was doing so great, and I don't know if she stepped on the calf's jaw or another cow came by and stepped on its jaw or somebody kicked it, I don't know. But it had a broken jaw. Talked to the vet clinic. They says, well, you could bring it in and we can x-ray it, and that's going to be about $400. And if it is broken like you say, then we'll have to ship it up to Saskatoon to the university and have its jaw casted or pinned and it would take about two and a half months of recovery with us feeding it through a esophageal tube going through its nose so uh, by the time it's all done and said we would have been pushing $1,200 to save that calf's life and a whole lot of doctoring twice a day and sometimes more, and may still have lost the calf. There was no guarantee that it would survive. <laughs> so I made the executive decision to put the little sucker down. Um, it's a $1,000 calf and a $1,200 bill and a whole lot of headache. So that's mom with no baby now. So like I said, this has got to be the absolutely worst year. We've checked it. In 10 years, and we still got 19 cows to calve. Anyways, on the upside, 
this cow is doing great and that's the adopted baby is doing great and all the other calves are doing great we had the vet out here she literally just left and uh, she checked everything over this is a veterinarian from a different clinic I tried to get them to come out just because they're a lot closer than the other veterinary clinic we deal with so uh, hopefully they'll take us on they're a very busy clinic but they got three vets in that clinic so we'll see what happens and she had to do a walkabout and check on things and she was very impressed with the operation very impressed with the barn the way we're looking after the animals they all look really good blah 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 so we'll see it's just a son of a bitch what can i say life as a cattle owner as a cattle farmer sometimes sucks and this year i uh i don't know what to say guys i'm frustrated how's that sound i'm frustrated but true to form am i gonna stop hell no am i gonna quit hell no are we gonna try and do things a little differently yes uh i'm not sure what that different is at this point is it gonna be i'm not sure we've got all the minerals they get all the vitamins i'm not sure what we have to do differently one i don't know we got to discuss this between the wife and myself and uh there might be some changes they won't be big i don't think we need to make big changes just small changes one might be a matter of getting rid of one or two of our bulls that i think are giving us these big friggin calves and uh go for a, a lot easier calving bull and so anyway guys that's how she rolls you have to make some executive decisions on what you're going to do and how you're going to do it what the costs will or will not be and go from there there she's just laying down now relaxing a little bit so we got to give her this dexacort everybody short names it for just dex and we're going to give her a needle every day for three days she already had her needle today i had that stuff on board so yeah Anyway, leave us your comments, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. We'll catch you next time.